Testing one, two. I'm happy to score this for you if needed. <laughs> I'm Jermaine Stiegel, and I'm the composer of Our Star Wars Stories. The composer is the person who adds the musical score to picture. It's not necessarily the songs that you hear, but it's the underscore that's going throughout the series or show or film. For me, it started with seeing the trailer to The Force Awakens. When I saw John Boyega's face pop up, it told me a lot about the fact that there was a reality to creating new Star Wars content and the universe was actually expanding. I was definitely inspired to figure out a way to get close to the DNA of Star Wars and I ended up finding out that the Sundance Composer and Sound Design Lab was accepting applications, which is held at Skywalker Ranch and it's such a cool place to work. I ended up applying to that and in 2016 I got in and was exposed to the amazing legacy of folks that have dealt with the sound of Star Wars since the very beginning and since then I've gone up there and recorded a couple scores and just really enjoy the process of the community of support and artistry there. A typical day is driving to my studio listening to things that might inspire the kind of work that I need to do that day maybe starting off with some musical sketches I describe my sketches as something that's kind of similar to any artist or painter that might create the outline for what I'm doing first it's me coming up with the actual purest form of the idea, flushing that out, and then filling all the musical details in later. For me, I'm always inspired by music that's choral in nature. I love gospel music, you know, it kind of is a reflection of my faith, and I'm listening to, generally, John Williams and gospel every day. That's just my vibe sometimes, you know. <laughs> when we originally talked about having an original score for our Star Wars stories, we understood that it was by nature a documentary, but I had this idea that it could feel at least cinematic. So the idea of it being related to the Star Wars universe, I thought it could be fun to actually dabble in sounds and thematic material that sounds familiar to the Star Wars universe. So when I watch it and just listen to the story that's being told and think about the characters that we're focusing on and really try to tap into the spirit of that character as it relates to Star Wars. One recent episode that really inspired me dealt with our subject, Brandon, who grew up understanding that as a black male, that his cultural background didn't necessarily reflect the kind of things that people generally associate with Star Wars. And for me, it's a known thing throughout our industry that there aren't a lot of black film composers, but it was fun to just really embrace the idea and the opportunity to create sweeping music that you don't get to write every day anyway for a subject like Star Wars. Advice I might give someone that wants to be a composer is to you know work on your craft every single day one of our greatest masters John Williams always talks about a composer's life is a working life multiple days a week all throughout the day whether it be recording music or ideas into your iPhone sketching on a piano writing them down on paper whatever you got to do a napkin even getting used to figuring out how you get your musical ideas out and also figuring out musically what inspires you the most and embracing that because that really is helping you define the things that are truest to you you musically.